You ain't heard of shit like that. Working all night, you know shit like that. Cutting people off, you know shit like that. Not enough money, but I spend it anyway. What's going on, guys? My name is Nob. You can call me King Nob. Thanks for stopping by the channel. And yesterday, I was out with my mom. We decided to go, like, you know, get some lottery tickets. My mom bought, like, $10 worth of them. Because, you know, the jackpot is actually the biggest it's ever been in U.S. history. I think it's going to go up to, like, over, well over a billion this week. Because I don't think anyone won, so... That's absolutely fucking insane. And so, like, me and my mom, we were just, like, talking and stuff, and we were like, oh, wow, what if we, like, win the lottery and stuff like that? That would be pretty cool. But, you know, with lots of money, there comes, like, you know, a lots of responsibility. You might be surprised to hear this, but if you win the lottery, there's gonna be a lot of problems. Like, it's not just gonna be all, like, fun and sunshine and money raining everywhere. It's not exactly like that. Like, you know, because when I tell you that there's gonna be problems when you win the lottery, you're probably thinking something like, too much money in the street. Too much money in the streets. It's too much money in the street. Man, you But no, that's not the case. I'm sorry to tell you. Listen, there's gonna be so much problems if you win the lottery. I mean, like, I'm not saying winning the lottery is a bad thing if you know what to do. But today, in my commentary topic, I'm just gonna be talking about all the negatives of winning the lottery. Because there is a lot of shit that can happen if you win the lottery some good shit and some bad shit but today I'm gonna be talking about the bad shit cuz I think everyone already knows the good shit you know what I mean so I'm not really gonna list these problems in any particular order so let's get right into this so number one you're not gonna get the amount that they're advertising when they say the jackpot is like over a billion you're not actually gonna get a billion because you know other people might win or you know they take away taxes so even if you're the solo winner even if you're the only person who wins even if you're the only person with like the winning ticket and stuff like that you're really only gonna walk home with like half a billion dollars and like when I say only half a billion I'm not saying it's not a lot like it is a lot of money but like it's just not what they're advertising me I mean honestly I think that that's really just like the least of your problems so number two alright people crawling out the fucking walls asking you for money like people you don't know people you might know your friends your family everyone's gonna want a piece of the cake when you win the lottery like People are gonna be like coming out of nowhere people you haven't seen in years and stuff like that they're just gonna be asking you for money it's kind of like when you bring like a pack of gum to class and then you just like take a piece of gum out of your pocket from the pack and then the kid behind you sees you like take out the pack and then he's like yo man can I have a piece of the gum and then the kid behind him and then the kid around him sees you give the piece of gum to him and before you know it more than half the class is lined up asking you for a piece of gum it's kind of like that with lottery winning and it's kind of like that when you have like a lot of money too so I'm just kind of like trying to make a scenario that's similar to something that I've experienced or something like that. So yeah, it's pretty crazy and it's pretty fucked up because there's a lot of gold diggers in the world and there's a lot of people who like, you know, I guess you, you become rich so only talk to you for your money and shit like that. And that's just really, really fucking sick. Like, I mean, like, honestly, if my parents did win the lottery, I would really recommend to them that they change their identities because there's just going to be so many people asking for money. There's going to be like, my teacher's going to be asking for money, like... My friends are gonna be asking for money, my fake ass friends are gonna be asking for money. Probably even the fucking school district is gonna call my parents and be like, Yo, can we like get a donation please? No, no, just no. We already pay like, you know, taxes and stuff like that, so it's just all this crazy stuff that would happen, and you know, I don't even think that I would want to win the lottery because it's just like, I don't even know. But anyways, I'm gonna be going into the third problem, and the third problem is knowing how to manage all your money and stuff like that. If you do win the lottery, you're probably gonna have to hire a lawyer and all that stuff, and just, I guess, manage your funds and all that stuff, and I guess invest it the right way. It's really, really complicated, and most people who win the lottery just end up going, just like spending it on houses and cars like that. But if you're smart, you would just, I guess, store it away or invest it or something like, live a humble life, maybe buy like a million dollar house if you hit something like really, really huge, but nothing more than that like you can't go and spend all your money like that because it's really dumb and, and it's really crazy and your money will just go poof just like if you just end up you know giving out money to everyone it's gonna go poof all those gold diggers are gonna disappear you're gonna have no friends you're gonna be homeless without a job and all that shit happens time and time again I've seen it on the news so many times and it's ridiculous it's fucked up but it's just the way the world works man and when someone does win this huge lottery they're gonna get like a bunch of publicity so if you're the type of person who doesn't want publicity then, you know, it's gonna be pretty weird for you. I guess you could change your identity and stuff like that, but it would be pretty weird, I guess. And yeah, but in all in all, honestly, would I want to win the lottery? 
Absolutely. Would there be a lot of problems with winning the lottery? Absolutely. Would I be willing to face all those problems? Meh, it would be a pain in the ass, but I'd still be living a good life and a really, really rich life like Donald Trump and shit and just like... No, I'm just kidding. But um, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And if you like this commentary, and if you didn't like this commentary, let me know down in the description. I'm always replying to comments. I'm always interacting with people. So have a fantastic day.